The Biochemical Society, in a very important year of their activity, decided to give us support to run this hot topic event titled Keeping the Engine Clean, Role of Mitophagy in Physiology and Pathology. This is a really unique occasion, simply because it's the first meeting alike in the old world. Keeping the engine clean and mitophagy. Why the engine and why mitophagy? Mitophagy is a process that uh, is responsible for the removal of defective mitochondria. Engine because mitochondria are the engine of the cells. So, engine because the mitochondria produce the bulk of the cellular energy needed for any kind of process. However, few fields of research have developed as much as that on mitochondrial physiology and pathology and characterize the mitochondria as a key element in cell signaling and in downstream transduction of uh, events uh, indispensable for cellular quality, such as apoptosis and autophagy. This makes clear to all of us that uh, having a, a strict means of regulation of the mitochondrial quality is paramount to cellular health and wealth. As you already uh, understand from the uh, word mitophagy, this means is a contraction between the word mitochondria and autophagy. The reason for that is because uh, is the autophagy machinery is the autophagy associated process that impinge on mitochondria to remove those that are not functioning as they should anymore. We have uh, two kinds of autophagy. One is the so-called non-selective type of autophagy and one is indeed the selective type of autophagy, known as mitophagy. Other types of selective models of autophagy are present, but mitophagy is that that has been more studied in the last years. The essentiality of autophagy for the cellular physiology and cellular function is given by the need to provide a compensatory mean of nutrient supply. The process of mitophagy, so the process of the selective type of autophagy, is instead a mean to preserve the quality of the mitochondrial network. In the next slide, I'm showing you two good examples for the non-selective type of autophagy and for the selective type of autophagy named uh, mitophagy. So here we have cells in uh, control condition that are transfected uh, with a bona fide marker for autophagy, the uh, protein LC3. You can clearly appreciate uh, the fluorescence, the green fluorescence uh, spread across the cellular surface. Next to it, we'll have instead uh, the activation of autophagy consequence insult in this case that promotes the activation of the uh, process and the need for nutrient supply. From the non-selective type of autophagy here recorded in uh, mammalian cells in in vitro standard type of assay, we move towards uh, uh, another kind of uh, autophagy, the selective against mitochondria, mitophagy, and here you can see in a stress condition how the classical punctuation of the bona fide marker used for the detection of autophagy is uh, localized over the mitochondrial network. And this is made clearer if we can stain the same cells with a fluorescent protein that marks the mitochondrial network. If we merge the two together, the green signal and the red signal, we can clearly see a spotless uh, localization of the LC3 punta on mitochondria. And this highlights the activation of the process that uh, has the finality to remove defective mitochondria and so secure the quality of the network and so the quality of the cells. So, 
in this day that will be devoted to the understanding of the basis and the progress of the biological components that uh, help the cells to keep their engine clean, we have divided uh, four topics uh, of uh, interest. And this is down to the program of the day, as it is in this next slide. So we will go through the origin of mitophagy, the reason why and how this is developed. Then we will go down a more specific route, uh, switching from the classical flex uh, for mitophagy each of us is aware of, to the genes, to genetic pathways and the precise molecular executor of uh, the process. And then we will discuss this in the context of mitochondrial dynamics, uh, evaluating the process of fusion, fission and segregation. All these three phases are these three interconnected phases that define the role of mitophagy in the preservation of mitochondrial network homeostasis. Finally, we will also go through the interesting relationship between mitophagy and cell energy balance and how the most recent discovery have associated the need to implement the mitochondrial network to escape this uh, process of selection. So all this will give, uh, will provide the audience of a, as said at the very beginning, unique overview on the process and will put in frame this uh, interesting biological process in the context of modern biomedicine.